Hi, I'm Ruthie and welcome to Ruthie's Toy Box. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to make a really fun paper boat that can actually float. You won't need any adult supervision, you just need a square piece of paper and some time. Let's get started. Okay, in today's lesson in making the origami boat, we are going to need an exact square piece of paper. You can buy origami paper from a uh, craft store, hobby store, somewhere like that, or you can actually make your own out of notebook paper. You just need to make sure that this distance on each side of the square is exactly the same to make sure we have an accurate fold. You can even make it out of aluminum foil, which will not get soggy whenever it floats on the water. Let's get started. So as you can see my square piece of paper, I want this color to be on the outside of the boat. So I'm gonna flip it over. And the first thing we're gonna do is make some pre-creases. So let's get corner to corner. And make sure you get a nice, good, strong crease there. Open it up and do another crease on that corner. Try to get as exact as possible because these are going to be your foundation creases. And then you open it up. Now, we are going to fold the corners to the center, just like this. Corner to the center. All four sides are gonna be like this. Corner to the center, just like this. And then finally, this one, just like this. All right. So you've got all four corners folded to the center. Now you're going to open two sides that are opposing each other, just like that. And you're going to fold this corner to this crease and close this door. Same fold on the opposite side corner to the crease, close the door. On these two now that you have left, you are going to fold the corner to the outside crease. Same exact fold on this side. And as you can see, it looks just like this, posing sides match. So, you want to make sure that on the left and right, you have the folded in corners, like this, and that your arrows that are pointing on the outside are up and down. And then you flip the base over, just like this. So you're going to take the left side and fold it to the center just like this. Sorry about that, it's not very neat. Same exact move on the opposite side. And it should look like this. You should see no white, okay? On the back, here's where all your white is. Keep this on the bottom. Now we're going to fold the corner of this edge right here to the center. You can use this little piece of paper to help you as a guide. So edge to the center, crease it really good. Edge to the center, a really good crease there. Edge to the center. As you can see on each end, we are repeating a lot of the same steps. Edge to the center, and it looks like this. Now we're going to add an additional edge to the center, and the paper has many layers now, so it's gonna be a little more difficult to fold, but just be patient and get it down and fold it just like that. See? You're gonna take this edge now and fold it to the center as well. And get a nice, good, firm crease. Sometimes you'll have to take a pair of scissors for the larger, thicker pieces of paper to make sure you get a very strong crease. And you're going to do the same on the opposite side. What I wanna stress here is that you are going to overlap onto this side. 
that is okay, that's normal. So let's watch. We're gonna fold the edge to the center. Make sure that overlaps nice and creased as well. And then we're gonna take this edge. Same movement happens over here. To the edge, to the center, and the overlap is nice and neat there too. So this paper's thicker, so I'm going to make sure I get a nice, strong, flat crease. Make sure these corners right here are nice and pretty because these are super awesome corners. Because now, let's turn it, we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna fold it to the middle. Nice, strong crease. Fold it to the middle. Nice, strong crease. And it looks like this. Isn't that cool? We're not done yet. We're gonna do a magic trick. Hold it like this. And then I usually do this with my fingers. And I take my thumb and I open the center. So, looks like a boat. It's not ready yet. We are gonna do a magic trick and turn it inside out. Take your fingers and touch those corners right there. And one at a time, push them inside out. And follow that same pattern, doing one side at a time for the rest of the boat. Make sure it's nice and neat, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna turn it over. And we're almost done, there's one more trick. You can see that there's a flap of paper right there. You can use your fingernail and pull it open. Make sure you make that paper nice and flat. And do the same exact thing on the other side. And pull it out like that. On smaller pieces of paper that you folded and make a smaller boat, you may need to use a pencil to kind of slide under there and help pull the paper out if your fingers are too big. But now we have a boat. Now imagine if this was made out of aluminum foil, it would float. This paper can float. It'll float until it gets too soggy and sinks. But this is a really great little paper boat and you can make them as a gift and give it to somebody or you could make a whole fleet of them and float them in water. Have fun. Thanks for watching the video with me today. I hope you had fun learning how to make this toy. If you did have fun, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends. Also, if you have any fun and creative project ideas you'd like to see happen, please let me know.